Well, hi, and welcome back to the Cairn Traveler. It is a beautiful sunny day out here. So I thought we'd do another uh, walking vlog since we did that last time and the microphone worked pretty well with the wind, which I was super happy about. So um, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Ruben. The channel is Cairn Traveler. Um, this is largely a channel about, uh, so I'm a travel ER nurse. I'm currently on assignment in uh, Fort Defiance, Arizona. It's on the Arizona-New Mexico border. And then I live in uh, Gallup, New Mexico, and commute into work. So this channel is about um, just our adventures as we travel across the country. Um, I am a full-time RVer as well, uh, traveling in a 25-foot uh, Airstream with my dog, Hiker, right down there. Uh, yeah, so our adventures across the country as we travel and uh, any other stuff I think is cool along the way. I'm just sharing any little, <clears throat> uh, you know, RVing life hacks and uh, stuff that I think would be fun to share. I also like to share my uh, journey in creating video, better video content along the way and any uh, equipment changes, that sort of thing that go along with that. Uh, and on that note, if you uh, are enjoying following this content, uh, please subscribe down below. Uh, like and comment on the videos as they come up and hit the uh, notification bell right next to the subscribe if you'd like to be notified when uh, new content comes out. So then jumping into the week, uh, work's been good. Just got off a stretch of five in a row on. Uh, it was pretty mellow, no huge changes there. Uh, like I say, it's good, enjoy being there still. Um, as I've said before in other videos, I've enjoyed having the days go a little bit longer. The weather's getting warmer. Um, definitely get a sunset going into work instead of just being in the dark. And I'll show some video of that in comparison. This is me driving into work um, earlier in the year, probably around December. Pretty much just pitch black. And, uh, and then this is what I get. Uh, now that the sun sets back. Yeah, so pretty great. My uh, Couch to 5K project has been going pretty well. We'll be on week four of the uh, program this week. So uh, having a good time with that. It's getting better, getting easier. I'm on about uh, three minutes jogging, running, and uh, three minutes walking at this point. So uh, it alternates between those cycles. And that's going pretty well. So making progress there. In other news, my previous trailer, the R-Pod, is still back in California, in Ukiah, where it was repaired. And I got the title earlier this year, and on the 10th, mailed that in to the shop so they could do a consignment sale. Did it overnight, uh, first class. And as of the 26th, the tracking said they were still awaiting the item. This is USPS which is just great. And then I'm going through my head, if I actually lost this thing, what do I have to do to get a copy? All that, anyway. Uh, it was finally on the 26th, marked as uh, in, in transit to uh, San Francisco. And as of this week, they actually received it. So, I have no idea what the delay was about, but uh, yeah, a little bit of a, a little nerve wracking there, but the guy at the shop uh, sounds like he's pretty confident he can get some interested parties on it. So we'll see what, see what comes of that. I just wanted to share some uh, thoughts on the practice of kind of daily minimalism too. And uh, for me, that's all about practicality, utility, and functionality. And uh, utility probably being the biggest part if you don't use something or if something isn't uh, making your life better, then that's a reason to get rid of it. There's no use to it, don't, don't have it, don't have it be something that uh, you have to store, you have to take care of, you have to worry about. <clears throat> so I'll jump to the, back to the Airstream and uh, show you a little, walk through some little changes. And uh, sometimes, you know, minimalism is about getting something, acquiring something new, but acquiring the right thing that makes life better. And sometimes that's really small changes. So uh, anyway, I'll jump to the Airstream and uh, show you a few things I did this week. So like I said, just wanted to show uh, some little 
Minimalism changes this week, little, little changes that make a huge difference in everyday life. This right here, where my little to-go bag sits, has been bugging me for a while. And uh, one, it takes up that little shelf, and uh, I, I use it for you know other little items I have to grab while going out the door. And two, it kind of falls open like this. I'm all the time, you know, reaching in here for stuff and it's falling apart and, and dragging. So, little 3M hook right up there. Holds about five pounds, I think, which is well enough for this. It may be even 7.5. This hangs well right there. And it's right there, easy to go. So I can reach in there, grab whatever I need, pull it out. Put it back. This shade close as well. So uh, yeah, super happy with that. Uh, another little change is I got on my shower door is where I put my my towel, and I'd use one of two of those three M hooks that you see back there. But one of them kept falling off. I think it was just the um, the glass didn't hold the the adhesive well. So I got these, they're suction cup, they're OXO, which I always, I love that brand. They make great stuff. And on top of being great hooks, they have these rubber coatings, which really means that this does not slip off. So super happy about that. And lastly, I'd been looking for a place for the guitar that I'm trying to learn right there. So this is Hiker's Bed. And uh, just a great use for this space. I got these adhesive mounts that are uh, kind of transparent too, so it doesn't show up real big. But they just stick to the roof. The guitar isn't super heavy. Sorry, the lights, the camera's adjusting to the outside light. So it just sits right there where I can get at it easy. It kind of keeps it front of mind for uh, continuing to practice. And it's ready to go and out of the way. So super happy about that. Uh, the last thing I'll say is I Pared down some of my uh, photography stuff. Let's see if it'll adjust there. This is the uh, Mavic, DJI Mavic bag. I'd had a bigger kind of case for it, but the first time I took out the case to take the drone somewhere, I noticed that it kind of flip flopped around in the bag and was banging against stuff and uh, just not real happy with the case. It was big and bulky. It was about twice the size. The only thing it held other than what this holds is the charger, which you would never need in a uh, to-go situation anyway. So got rid of the bigger case, went back to this case. I hadn't thrown it out because it was the original case that came with it and I didn't want to uh, toss that. Like I say, for minimalism, you, you had to keep stuff around that you're not using. So went back to this went out of the storage spot so I have more room there and got rid of the bigger case. I uh, also went to these boxes instead of uh, the, there was kind of a bin there before, but it was messy, had a bunch of stuff in it, um, had everything in it. And these let me kind of have stuff ready to go per the different kind of um, cameras or different sorts of equipment. So that really cleaned that up. Other than getting rid of that case, um, I'll say that for me, daily minimalism is just about looking at the things you have and constantly reevaluating whether you're really getting use out of them. And uh, this week, these were a few things on top of the bigger case that I talked about earlier. But these were a few things that I'm not using that I'm getting rid of. This uh, was a landing pad for the drone. I have never needed it. Um, you know, I got it because it was in kind of essential gear for drones kind of recommendations and I've never not found a flat space so yeah and even if it wasn't flat that's it's a real light thing and it's not going to like push down grass or, or anything like that so I've never had a problem landing the drone I really don't think I need that so uh, other thing is the GoPro case this is a nice case I like it um, problem is it doesn't hold all the GoPro stuff and I would never need to take it out to carry all the GoPro stuff. Like it literally just stays in here and holds the stuff. So, like I said, I went to these boxes. One of them holds all the GoPro stuff. Um, I usually only pick one mount at a time. There's not really a reason I would need to have a whole case. So I just pick the mount, pick up the camera and go. Uh, this I had gotten to clean the shower, but I found uh, scrub um, sponges to be a whole lot more effective. Um, so I have no idea why I still have this. I don't think I've used it since the first time I got it. So 
there's nothing else I need to clean with it, it's going away. But yeah, like I say, I'm just looking at things, making sure that you're you're still getting use out of them, making sure they're still making uh, making life better in some way. And these things aren't, so they can go. So this is the new water supply, at least for drinking water. Um, I came home this week to find this, which lasted for about a day and a half. It seems to happen, it happened once before, and uh, it happened after we had a real cold, um, cold snap in the middle of the night. Uh, the water didn't freeze, but I, I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know if this is a campground problem. I do have a, a the regular Camco Blue inline filter for the water supply. And I've been drinking the water up until now, trusting that filter. Um, but other people have recommended uh, this area used to be mined for a lot of stuff, and particularly uranium can be in the, in the soil. So you have to kind of worry about that. Um, so I hate that it's this much plastic to go through. I don't like generating that much plastic, but I'm still kind of reevaluating other options that would provide a better option to this. Uh, and right now this is the best place to store it. Storage was always the problem with this. Um, but I figured this won't really be in the way in the shower and it's in plastic, so it's not like I care if it gets wet. So um, I did look at one of those clear source three stage or two stage filters. Uh, problem with that is outside it's kind of expensive so it's subject to theft and freezing and then inside I'd love to put it inside but the actual let's see if you can see it most of the water connections are in this super short closet here next to the shower towards the back behind all that and I'd have to sneak it in there connect it up to the the uh, piping and then the bigger problem is that occasionally you have to change the filters so you'd have to have a way to get to it and then also a way to get to it change the filters and not have it create a huge water mess while you're changing the filters in there so couldn't really wrap my head around that so that's not happening yet um, i thought about like a berkey or a um, just a big you know five seven gallon uh, water thing but i hate to give up the counter space right now honestly um, yeah, so still uh, looking through options, but for now we are going to, that is the drinking water supply. So as I said, days are uh, getting longer, getting warmer, and we've been able to get out and uh, do some pretty awesome adventures this week. And it's, uh, it's a good start to 2021, uh, finding some adventure in the backyard and, uh, and a little bit further. On my kind of one day off this week, I went back to uh, Sedona, got up super early, left at like 4 a.m. and uh, zipped on over to be able to get to Cathedral Rock early enough to find parking. So knocked out Cathedral Rock. It was kind of a strenuous, but a short hike. Super pretty views. Show some pictures of that. I'm up here at uh, Cathedral Rock in Sedona. This beautiful day. Got here about uh, 7.30. Uh, the second parking lot wasn't full yet, so pretty good timing. It's Monday. We are headed uh, up this way. Look at that. Pretty, uh, pretty decent climb, getting a good leg workout. Gotta keep going. So this is a uh, Cathedral Rock. It's a door. Beautiful morning. There's some uh, way out there. There's some hot air balloons. trailing up you can go up through the notch there there's probably a bunch of trails that connect to each other out here but uh, now the plan is to uh, go to um, 
um, Bill's Bridge. Yeah. I missed a picture I wanted last time. And uh, after that, I had already done Devil's Bridge, but uh, had some time left. It was about 8.30. Yeah, so uh, jumped over to Devil's Bridge, still good parking there. And uh, did Devil's Bridge again. There was some shots and footage I had wanted to get that I didn't get the time before, and there's a little less of a line this time, so got some good, cool footage. After that, uh, there's a small state park right outside. I guess it's right outside Sedona. Maybe it's in Sedona. It's on Highway 89A. So uh, jumped over there. That's Slide Rock State Park. I realized this had been on my. I kind of forgotten about it, but it had been on my bucket list since 2019. I think I had. Uh, that was when I had first gotten on the road and arranged for a package to be delivered at Whole Foods to the Amazon locker there as just an excuse to go through Sedona but never really stopped other than getting out to the store and you know that but never really stopped never really saw Sedona so uh, yeah had been uh, drew, drove through and saw Slide Rock and put that on my bucket list because I thought that'd be a cool spot and here we are back looking at it Kind of a small park, um, the trails were, were pretty short. There is a uh, connection to a backcountry trail which would go further. But uh, yeah, it was an old uh, orchard, I think. There's like a little farmhouse there and various apple stuff. I think during the spring, uh, I heard folks saying that it's, it's apparently packed when the apples are out, so. But yeah, really pretty little spot, so we're here recommend at, uh, Slide it. Slide Rock State Park. This has been on my uh, bucket list for a long time. And uh, like I had just passed it coming through Sedona. I thought, oh hey, that would be neat. And I passed it a couple times since. Finally decided to stop. Wow. It's so funny how the rocks are different colors. And then on the way home, I had passed this multiple times going both to and from Flagstaff and Sedona and everywhere else. But this uh, meteor crater, a uh, national landmark, and there's a museum there too. And I thought, you know, I've got time left. I'm going home in the afternoon. I will finally stop. And I stopped. And I didn't show any footage, but I got a few pics and I'll show those. But just super pretty weird spot. Um, the Space Museum there uh, had like, the Space Museum there had a uh, meteor on display from the actual, uh, the actual site, and I didn't realize they were kind of metallic, the meteors, but that makes sense since they wouldn't, you know, break up and, as they come through the atmosphere. They had like this little alien guy, uh, statue standing out there, and a, a space rocket capsule. It was just uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. But yeah, finally stopped and uh, saw that spot. So glad I knocked that off my list while I was going through. I think one of the next things on my list, and this is another one of those places kind of near there that I drive by a lot, but Homolavi 
Ruins State Park. Might be worth stopping in and checking that out. So I think I'll plan on doing that. For this coming weekend, after the next two days are on at work, I've got a uh, trip planned on Saturday with some friends at work to uh, Bandelier National Monument, just outside Santa Fe. Uh, it's kind of outside uh, Los Alamos, but one of my favorite spots. It's one of those first spots I started visiting when I came out to the west. And uh, always like to go back anytime I'm in the area. So uh, looking forward to showing them that. Got a couple of trails uh, we may choose. And if it's not completely snowed over, I think we're going to do a uh, summit for uh, Cerro Grande on the uh, Valdez uh, volcano border. So yeah, got a fun week ahead planned. Uh, hopefully we have a great video for you next week. So stay tuned. We will see you back then.